Okay, so now we've got this closet area kind of figured out. So let's go back to our view. So we've got this line figured out, that line figured out. Let's go ahead and put this wall in right here. If it's two foot six off of that wall right there, we'll comb it back to AutoCAD. We know where, oh, we know where this wall is here. We know it goes way on out. So we can go ahead and do something like this where we can click stretch and stretch this wall way on out. As long as the orthographic projection's on, we're good. So now uh, we've got that wall established. This wall right here, we want to know where this four foot eight comes down there. So we'll put that in place um, by clicking on this and we will offset. We can actually do this whole thing here to make this really easy. We're going to copy and do a window around this. We're going to copy this whole thing down this way, four uh, foot eight inches. And that puts that in place. Now, what we do have to do is make some adjustments. Um, we'll click on this and drag this down to there. Um, this is going to come out to that length right here. So this will have a line that goes out like this far. Um, this one now comes from here and goes to the shift right click perpendicular. This is ways you can do this. And then we'll click on that, drag this back here. And since we want that to be an object line, we'll click that and change that to an object line by doing that. All right. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click trim, use these as cutting edges here, right click and get rid of the stuff in between there. All right. So we've got that wall established. The next thing we're going to do um, oops, let's go back here. I'm going to study this one for a minute. Um, what we want to do is uh, let's go and look at this wall right here, four foot this way. Now, there's a couple things we can do to make this really, really simple. Um, let's go back here. We'll try to do this where we copy it again. We'll copy that whole thing there, and we'll just go over four foot zero inches and enter. So now that's established where this is. We can click trim and use these as cutting edges here. Right click and get rid of that in the middle. And that these two lines actually go from, from here. They go all the way down to the shift right click perpendicular over here. This line does the same. Click on this one. Grab the grip. Shift right click perpendicular to here. Right, we'll cl click on that one and delete it, and we can extend if we want to. Right click that one, extend, right click this one to there. We can even extend it a little farther if we wanted to because that gets us to the midpoint there. So, this room's kind of established um, where we're at on that one. Uh, so let's go back here and look. So we've got that uh, that wall done. Uh, the next one over this way. So this line's probably supposed to come straight down here. Uh, and we'll go over to get to this. So it's 9 foot 8. So there's probably supposed to be a line here. 9 foot 8 to that wall. So we'll do the same thing again. We can just copy this line. Click copy. Copy the whole thing over here. 9 foot 8 inches. So we now have that established. We can click trim, use this line and this line as a cutting edge, and get rid of those little pieces in here. Right? I think there's going to be a wall thickness here, two foot six. I think is what it was. Two foot six is the thickness of the closet and this little area there for a furnace. So let's go back here. We'll copy this again. Copy that whole thing. Two foot six inches and see where that lands. Huh? So that was a pretty good guess before when I made that one there. So we'll grab this grip and go this far. We'll grab this grip right here and just go to this end point right there. Uh, and we'll do a fillet with a radius of zero and just click these two lines right here. That makes that really, really easy to do. So now that's established. Uh, so we've got that established. We can move on to looking at how to do these things here, these thicknesses. So three foot eight to this wall, five foot four to that one there, um, and then three foot two for this one. We could do the three foot two one really, really easy. So let's um, go back over here and we can try to do this. Um, let's just go ahead and do an offset here. We're going to offset three foot two inches. We'll offset this one down this way and we'll go ahead and offset this one too because that'll put that one in the right spot. And we can now offset again and do offset four inches and get this 
established on the other side there use those click trim use these as cutting edges and get rid of those pieces so we've now established where that wall is um, we can go ahead and click trim use this one as a cutting edge and get rid of that part right there so now we've established where that is so now we've got some walls we a wall we can work with to copy again so uh, so um, let's go back down here let's see from there to there was five foot four so we'll copy this whole wall down we'll copy do a window around that go down five foot four inches and that one's now established we can do the same thing before as we did before trim this you know use these oh no I'm sorry when we trim we're gonna use this as cutting edges right there right click and then get rid of those pieces right in there so now we've established where this cl these closets are um, oh we want to trim that out too so let's click trim use this as a cutting edge and this is a cutting edge and get rid of that alright so now we've established where those closets are um, we haven't established where doors are yet we'll get to that later we're gonna get all the walls in first so we've got these walls right in here all of these walls so we'll start looking at this part up here um, so this wall looks like it kind of goes straight on up here. It may or may not be the way that works out. So we'll go nine foot four back that way uh, to to establish that. So um, we'll offset nine foot four inches, and to get to the midpoint of that line, and it looks like it's identical there. So that's going to work out good for us. Um, so to make this really simple, we're going to try to do this. We're going to click copy we're going to copy these two lines right here and we will copy them from this intersection right there to this intersection right here now they go over but that's okay um, because we can just trim this stuff so trim I'll right click before I do that and get rid of this and this and I'll go ahead and do those two little sections there this is going to get dragged down way down here somewhere this one will get dragged way down here somewhere um, so we've established where this room is um, we want to then figure out how wide this hall is so the hall is three foot two right there it may be kind of shallow we'll figure that out in a minute let's go with three foot two for now all right so we will then copy uh, we'll do copy we'll pick this whole wall right here and we'll go up this way three foot two inches and so now we've got this kind of established now we can go click on trim we'll trim this and get rid of this and this um, we can click on erase because we don't want to have that feature in there where's oh there's erase right there um, we might use that fillet again so we can click on fillet the radius is set to zero and click this that goes that way fillet radius this and this this may come back to haunt me in a little bit but we'll see um, so that hallways there established I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and delete this one and just drag this out so we've got a solid line there we can trim the, as we need to later but we've got a hallway there that's three foot two we'll worry about how to put the door in later on so now we've established where this wall is. Um, there's a little bit more in here. Uh, we could uh, kind of figure that out, but we've got that established in this. This bathroom area here is five foot four. So let's go in here and we'll just copy this. Copy this whole wall. Oh, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, we want to copy this like this and this and we'll copy this five foot four inches this way and so that establishes where that wall is um, let's make this easy we're gonna click trim and we'll get rid of the stuff that goes beyond that make that a little easier on us click trim right click that one right there oops I didn't mean to do that undo so I'm gonna click trim and I'm gonna select this as a cutting edge then I'll right click and get rid of that and I'll click trim and right click and get rid of this and this so I've established that click trim right click and get rid of that and that so now we know where our bathroom is right here um, next we'll worry about the thickness of this linen closet here and this walls three foot ten over that way so make it really simple click 
copy and we'll go over three foot ten three foot oops three foot ten inches and so now that's established and we'll go ahead and use this we'll click trim and use this as a cutting line right click after selecting those and get rid of these pieces here in the middle we'll get rid of this piece here in the middle and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pause right here we'll call this video 2 and we'll move on to video 3 in a minute